In this episode I am currently in the area of The Hague to test and review a motorcycle that is known to many as the summit of adventure riding. I am of course talking about the BMW R1250 GS Adventure. Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Roy and this is a new episode here on MotorvlogNL. I am currently on my way to The Hague to test ride a motorcycle that has been on my bucket list for quite some time now. I had the opportunity to do a small test ride on this bike during the Motor Expo in Utrecht at the beginning of this year's motorcycle season because I wanted to experience this big and heavy bike for myself and I was surprised that the bike handled that easy in a small area. So it was only a matter of time that I would want to get the bike on the public road and test it in real world conditions. The bike that I'm talking about is known by many as the summit of adventure bikes. The bike that set the standard for every other adventure bike out there. Let's see if the BMW R1250 GS Adventure can live up to its name. I just picked up the GS from Motor Houtrust and I instantly realized that this is a tall bike. I am around 6 foot 4 or 196 centimeters if you use to the metric system and with the seat in the highest position I can barely reach the ground. The seat height of the bike can be set between 89 and 91 centimeters and since I have an inseam of 91 centimeters I will have to tiptoe at every traffic light. I didn't want to deal with that so I stopped for a bit to adjust the seat to a lower position which can be easily done by removing the seat and flipping over one or two levers under the seat according to how high or low you want to set the seat. You also have the option to lower the suspension electronically which adjusts the ride height and thereby the seat height but because I wanted to try out different riding modes I decided to lower the seat itself. Since we are next to the bike let's take a look at it. I am currently riding the triple black version of the 1250 GS Adventure. The GS Adventure is available in the style variants Ice Grey, Trophy GS, Rally and Triple Black, like this one. All GS Adventures are equipped with cross spoke wheels in either black or golden finishes depending on the style variant you choose. The GS Adventure weighs 268 kg and has a 30 liter fuel tank including 4 liters in the spare tank. The 1254cc boxer engine delivers 136 horsepower and 143 newton meters of torque. The bike clocks a top speed of over 200 km an hour and the fuel consumption is set at 4.75 liters per 100 km. Like I said this is a big bike and with a total length of 227 centimeters and a width of 98 centimeters including the mirrors this bike has a significant road presence. And now that we have a bit more information about the bike, let's ride it and see what it's like. My first impression of the BMW R1250 GS Adventure is that although it weighs 263 kg, it feels as light as a feather when going through tight corners and taking roundabouts. Tilting the bike costs no effort at all and the weight distribution on the bike is spot on. Thinking about the height of the bike, you realize that the center of gravity is very low, which means that the bike isn't top heavy. The handlebars are wide and they give you full control over this huge adventure bike.
136 horsepower this bike ain't no slouch. With a top speed of over 200 km an hour, this bike will keep up and pass traffic without hesitation or effort. On the highway I experienced some side wind, but the GS Adventure is no match. The bike stays stable even on higher speeds. If you enjoyed this video so far, please help me and my channel by giving this video a like. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, this would be a great time to click that button. Also let me know in the comments below if you think I missed something in this video and what your thoughts are about the BMW R1250 GS Adventure. After driving this bike for a little over an hour, I think I can give you a first impression of this adventure bike. As you might know, I traveled through Vietnam on a Benelli TRK 502. And that bike is modeled after the BMW GS in my opinion. But the GS is the superior version regarding comfort and luxury. And that's no strange conclusion when you look at the numbers. The Benelli is a 500cc bike compared to the 1250cc of the BMW. And the Benelli has a price point of around 8000 euros, where the BMW starts at 26k. So overall you can expect more and you will get more from the BMW. But is the BMW the overall superior adventure bike when you look at other common adventure bikes like the Triumph Tiger 1200 Explorer or the Honda Africa Twin? or the Ducati V4S Multistrada Rally even. The answer to that question still must be answered since I haven't had the opportunity to drive these bikes yet. But I do know that I can fully understand why many riders all over the world choose the BMW R1250 GS Adventure. This bike is a beast and, in my opinion, deserves the credit that it receives all over the world. Is this a bike where I would like to grow my channel with and explore the world around me? It's a high placed option, that's for sure. The only downside to the popularity of the BMW R1250 GS Adventure is that everybody has one. So you will never own something special that is one of a kind. But on the other hand, you can find tons and tons of stuff online to fully customize the bike to your liking. As for the bike itself, if you're looking for a companion on the road, whether it's for daily commuting or traveling the world on and off road, the BMW R1250 GS Adventure can be an excellent companion that will give you enough power, comfort, luggage options and more to tackle everything you throw at it. <laughs>